ahead from Debbie for our area is heavy rainfall and one area where it's expected to rain the most is Emanuel County. That's where News Channel 6's Hannah Latier is tonight. Hannah, they have spent the day getting ready for what could be a very wet Tuesday and Wednesday. That's right, Jenny. The winds and rain are definitely picking up out here, and first responders from different agencies in the county are gearing up for Debbie to come through sometime in the early afternoon tomorrow. Well, what we've been doing this morning is, is sending out messages to everybody, just asking them to fuel up their vehicles, make sure the chainsaws are, are with fuel and bar oil and all that sort of thing, so that they're prepared. Light rain on Monday was a preview of what's expected. Emergency management leaders tell us they're anticipating 8 to 10 inches of rain in total, with the county falling under an aerial flood watch. Our live Viper 6 team says 6 to 8 inches is possible by Tuesday night. So, so the water is going to be a huge issue, uh, even, even with major storms or minor storms. We have some flooding, uh, particularly the dirt roads and washing out, but this much rain is going to be a lot worse. Predicted wind speeds of up to 45 miles per hour. They're ready for power lines and trees to be downed as well. We caught up with shoppers at the local Harvey's supermarket who tell us they're stocking up on food and hunkering down. Just paper products and uh, bread, milk, cheese, the basics. We just secure everything at home, make sure we've got water, we have a generator we can kick on not an automatic one and you know and we're just going to stick it out in, in the church at NBIC and um, you know know that God's got it staying inside and waiting it out is the best way to go EMA leaders say at least until Thursday uh, once the storm starts particularly if we have water over the roads they don't need to be on the road so get your supplies get get the things that you need to keep the, to be ready for several days and, and watch the news and keep up with the storm. And if you have an emergency, dial 911. And, and Emanuel County schools are closed tomorrow. The superintendent tells me that based off the conditions of the roads tomorrow, they will determine if there will be school on Wednesday. Count on us to keep you updated. Live in Swainsboro, Hannah Latier, WJBF News Channel 6.